I'm gonna seek a victory for the battle belongs to you, Lord. Come on. Cause I'm gonna seek a victory. I'm gonna seek a victory for the battle. Come on, sing it with me. Cause I'm gonna seek a victory. I'm gonna seek a victory for the battle belongs to you, Lord. The weapon may be formed. The weapon may be formed, but it won't prosper. Thank you, Jesus. And when the darkness falls, it won't prevail. Because the God I serve, because the God I serve knows only how to triumph. And my God, and my God will never fail. My God, and my God will never fail. Sing it, church, because I'm going to see a victory. I'm going to see for the battle. For the battle belongs to you, Lord. Because I'm going to see a victory. I'm going to see for the battle. The weapon may be formed. Sing it with me, church. The weapon may be formed, but it won't prosper when the darkness falls. When the darkness falls, it won't prevail. Because the God I serve, because the God I serve knows only how to triumph. My God and my God will never fail. And your God will never fail. And your God will never fail. Sing it this morning. Because I'm going to see a victory. I'm going to see a victory for the battle belongs to you, Lord. Because I'm going to see a victory. What a mighty God we serve. For the battle, for the battle. Father God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, me and Pastor Amy, we lift your people up before you on this morning. We pray for those who are down in the valley in the shadow of death this morning, who feel like they are in the slums of life, depression, oppression, suicidal thoughts, fear, attacks on all sides. We rebuke the devil off of you this morning in the name of Jesus. Rise up, man of God, woman of God, child of God, son of God, daughter of God. Rise up, the Bible says, Submit yourselves, therefore, to God. Resist the devil and he'll flee from you. There's some stuff God ain't going to do for you. He has empowered you to do it. Rise up. Father, help them to take their rightful place. Help them to stand on the word of God. Help them to fight back. Stir them up this morning. You are showing us how to win, God, when it looks impossible. Step in and turn that situation around. Heal that sick body, God. Give them a financial breakthrough. The stress of that marriage, step in. Turn it around. Save that son. Save that daughter. Bring deliverance, God, into their lives. Answer that prayer this morning. Give direction to that life this morning. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. Somebody say amen. Glory to God. I'm back as we continue our series, How to Win When It Looks Impossible. We've all had to face impossible situations. But on this morning, I want to talk about no need to fear. God is with you. The Bible says, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7, for God has not given us the spirit of fear, but he has given us a spirit of power. I just said it that way so you can get it. A spirit of power and of love and of a sound mind. 
So if God didn't give you a spirit of fear, where is it coming from? Who is it that is responsible for trying to give you a spirit of fear? It's the devil himself. He operates in fear. He operates in manipulation. He operates in intimidation. He is always trying to get your mind off of the Word of God. When you take your eyes off the Word of God, the enemy can conquer you with fear. But I'm telling you, faith overcomes fear every single time. And we know how to get faith. Romans chapter 10 verse 17 says, So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the Word of God. Glory to God. No need to fear. God is with you. Oh, somebody lift your hands to heaven. Say, God is with me. He is. How, Pastor, how do you know God is with me? Well, he said in the book of Hebrews 13, 5, Jesus said, I'll never leave you nor forsake you. He's not a liar. That means he's with you right now through the presence of the Holy Spirit who lives in you. The Holy Ghost is on the inside of you 24-7. I think sometimes we, 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 we become so under the attacks of the enemy to distract our minds. His whole goal is to get you to realize, to get your minds off the fact that the Holy Ghost is on the inside of you. Are you listening to me? It's, it, 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 there is something about with the awareness that the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost is with you 24-7. There is a boldness that comes with knowing that. There is a confidence when you know the Lord is with you 24-7. He said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. David said, even when I walk through the valley and the shadow of death, I will fear no evil because God is with me. Are you hearing me this morning? No need to fear, my friends. God is with you. Listen to this. Psalm chapter 27, verse 1 through 6. Listen to David, a psalm of David. I love it. The Lord is my light. He is my light. He is my clarity, my direction in the midst of darkness. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Home shall I fare? What would reason it is? I, I, I don't have to be afraid of nobody. The Lord is my light and my salvation. Home shall I fare? Who is it? Do I need to be afraid of no one? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? My God, my God, this word is sweet. When the wicked, even my enemies and my foes, the ones who hate my guts and can't stand me, came upon me to eat up my flesh, they stumble and fell. Where did they fell? They fell into their own traps. The Bible says, he who digs a ditch will fall therein. My God, the snare is broken and we are escaped our help is in the name of the Lord. Psalms 124, watch this. Let me go back to this, Psalms 27, verse 3. David said, though an host should encamp against me, let him come on against me. My heart shall not fare, though war should rise against me. In this will I be confident. Are you listening to this? Though a host should encamp against me, my heart shall not fare. Why? Because God's with me. Though war should rise against me, in this will I be confident. One thing have I desired of the Lord, and that will I seek after, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life to behold the beauty of the Lord and to inquire in his temple. I love verse 5. For in the time of trouble, my God, the shouting grounds, in the time of trouble, he shall hide me in his pavilion. In the secret of his tabernacle shall he hide me. He shall set my feet upon a rock. What rock is that? The rock is Jesus. Upon this rock, I'll build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it. God is on your side. You have no need to fear. God is with you. You come in out more than a conqueror. You are coming out of it. The Bible says many are the afflictions of the righteous, but out of them all, 
the Lord delivers him. Listen to verse 6. David said, And now shall my head be lifted up above my enemies round about me. Therefore will I offer in his tabernacle sacrifices of joy. I will sing. Yes, I will sing praises. Sometimes you just got to give him praise with my hands. With my hands lifted unto you. Sing with me. And my voice singing aloud. Come on, church. I bless, bless your name with all of my heart. Come on, someone lift your hands to heaven. With my hands lifted unto you. And my voice singing aloud. I bless, bless your name with all of my heart. Tell him I adore you this morning. I adore your name. Precious Lord, I adore your name. Precious Lord. Listen, let me read the rest of this to you. Keep me right there in that flow. I feel the anointing of God. No need to fear. Let me read this to you from the book of Isaiah, chapter 41, verse 10 through 13. Fear thou not, saints. Why? Because God says, for I am with thee. He's with you. He's with you 24-7. Be not dismayed. Don't be. The word dismayed means discouraged. Don't be discouraged. Why? For I am thy God. I will strengthen you. Yes. I will help you. The word help there means support. I will uphold you with the right hand of my righteousness. God said, I got you. You are in the palm of my hands. I'm holding you up. You can't go down because I got you. Behold, all they that were incensed against thee or angry against thee shall be ashamed and confounded. They shall be as nothing in us, and they that strive with thee shall perish. Thou shall seek them and shall not find them. Even them that contended with thee, they that war against thee, shall be as nothing and as a thing of naught. For I, the Lord thy God, will hold thy right hand, saying unto thee, Fear not, I will help thee. No need to fear. God is with you. God's telling you I got you. I'm going to help you. Some people think you're going to fail, but God is going to prove them wrong because when they come against you, they're coming against the Lord. They're coming against his work. They're coming against what he has commanded you to do. Who can fight God and win? Good luck with that one. He's never lost a case. He's never failed. And I'm here to tell you, no need to fear. God is with you. Me and Pastor Amy join our faith with you. We cover you in the blood of the Lord Jesus Christ. We rebuke the spirit of fear out of your atmosphere, out of your mind, out of your spirit, from around your environment. We rebuke it. Release the atmosphere of faith, God. I adore you, I adore your name, precious Lord, I adore your name, precious Lord. With my hands, with my hands lifted unto you, and my voice singing aloud, I bless Bless your name with all of my heart. With my hands, with my hands lifted unto you, and my voice singing aloud. I bless, bless your name. 
Listen, we want to give you an opportunity to support the preaching of the gospel of the Lord Jesus this morning. If you have downloaded our ministry app, you can give the bottom far right button. button. You can click on that button and give to the ministry. You can also visit us online at seanpinder.net forward slash give. You can also give through the ministry PayPal account. That address is paypal.me forward slash Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also give through the ministry Zell account. The ministry Zell email address is info at seanpinder.net. You can also give through the ministry cash app account. The ministry cash app address is the dollar sign Sean Pinder Ministries. You can also text to give. All you have to do is text the letters SPM to the number 45888 and a link will automatically be sent to you. You can also mail your donations into the ministry. Just remember to make your checks and money orders out to Sean Pinder Ministries, P.O. Box 2726, McKinney, Texas, 7. Five zero seven zero. Friends, remember to share this video with at least five people that you know need a word from God. Share it through WhatsApp, Facebook, Facebook Messenger, YouTube, Snapchat, LinkedIn, TikTok, Pinterest, Instagram, however you can share it. Send this message to at least five people that you know need a word of encouragement. Never forget me and my lovely wife, Pastor Amy, we love you. We appreciate you and we look forward to seeing you again on tomorrow as we continue this series, How to Win When It Looks Impossible. God bless you.